Eid Mubarak to all of you. Today is a special day. Please do not forget to give special gifts to women, children, neighbors, and family members. Today we need to remember that this is a day to magnify, to do takbirat, and to say that Allah is the greatest. This has been my message in my prayer, in my sermon that I delivered, that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who came as the final messenger of Allah to humanity, to guide them to the right path, to the path that will lead them to eternal salvation, has given the message that Allah is the greatest, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, there is no one to worship except Him, and Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest, Walillahi alhamd, and all praise are due to Allah. So what we need to understand is that the greatness of Allah is pronounced and, and, and proclaimed at every level. We have to stand up for justice against the injustices committed no matter who is the culprit. No matter who is the culprit, how powerful is the culprit, how famous is the culprit, how big and how mighty is the culprit, whether it is China doing it to our vegan brothers and sisters, India doing it against our Kashmiri brothers and sisters, uh, Israel doing it against the Palestinian brothers and sisters, and Assad doing it against his own people, and anywhere in the world out there for that matter, whoever it is who is doing injustice, we have to stand up against them, call them out and say and proclaim loud and clear and 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 and, and very uh, you know passionately that Allahu Akbar you're not the greatest Allah is the greatest his name is Adal which means justice Allah is just he says ya ibadi inni haramtu zulma ala nafsi fala tazalamu o my servant o my servants i made oppression Haram for myself, you should not do it itself. You should not do oppression. You should not oppress each other. So Allah is greater. Any, any civilization, any kingdom, any empire will fall. Islam and the message of Islam will continue until there's no one to say Allah, Allah in this land, until the end of this world. And so this is a great message. Secondly, I also urge my brothers and sisters to stay positive within this uh, cost crisis, within this price uh, rising and, and rocketing and soaring, within the inflation, within the economic turmoil, within the difficult situations, because Allah, who is Akbar, who is the greatest, is the provider. He will provide you and I. He says, وَمَا مِن دَابَّةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا عَلَى اللَّهِ رِزْقُهَا There's no creature, there's no living creature on this earth, but Allah provides for them. Allah provides for it. He says, وَفِي السَّمَاءِ رِزْقُكُمْ وَمَا تُعَدُونَ Your sustenance is in the heaven and what have you been promised. So sustenance comes from Allah. We will work hard, but we should not worry. Okay, we should not hold our hands tight not to spend in the path of Allah in charity. If we are, you know, in, in difficulty, there are others who are more in difficulty, double in difficulty, uh, perhaps who needs more help than, than ourselves. So we need to come out and, and Allah says, in Tansurullah Sunkum, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised the Prophet has said, Ma kana al mu'minu, Allah fi awni al abdi ma kana, aw ma dam al abdu fi awni akhi. Allah will help those who help others. So long as we help others, Allah will help and provide for us. So the Prophet says, As sadaqatu, uh, uh, la tanqusul mal as sadaqa. Charity will never decrease your wealth, it will never diminish. So come forward and raise your standard of, 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 of giving. Okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala controls our income, but we try to manage our expenditure. 
our income is in, is not in our our power but in fact our expenditure is so instead of spending money on extravagant and things like that we need to come out and save some money and help those who are in need this is very crucial this is very important and so Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar this is the day of Eid this is to rejoice this is to give gifts to our neighbors our family members our children let them enjoy this beautiful day by magnifying the name of Allah by standing up for justice by saying the right things and doing the right things and I ask Allah that he brings May Allah bring happiness and joys to all of you. Those who are on Hajj, may Allah accept their Hajj and ease their pain and make it easy for them. Those who are suffering <clears throat> from any illness, may Allah give them the uh, shifa and the cure. Those who are sad, may Allah remove their sadness. Those who are in pain, may Allah remove their pain. Those who are in, 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 in worries under any circumstances, may Allah ease and uplift their situation and, and ease their pain. And innahu ala dhalik qadir, because He is all powerful, He is all knowing, He is all wise. Remember, Allah will never let you down. Always stay positive, always smile, always come forward and help others, and you will see Allah will help you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.